all right everybody welcome back to the legend game playthrough uh before we get started do all the youtube things like comment subscribe you know what to do uh real quick uh so basically i wasn't able to find an actual solution uh to work around this uh the soft flux is going to come up at the end of this next fight uh so basically what's going to happen is i'll do the fight solo with shanna just to show you that you could i can do it and um and then we'll cut to me Okay, so what I will do is I'll have Dart and Lavis in the party, but they'll be set to 1 HP at the start of the battle. Uh, so they'll just die right away, right? Uh, so they don't have any actual impact on the fight itself, really. But just to keep things as, like, own rules as possible, this is how we're going to do it. And I'll just cut to, um, like, the last turn of that fight. Uh, all right, so let's, uh, let's get into it. So, I can't remember what this is. And not carry anymore. So, this is a usable of some kind. Uh, we do need to use a healing potion. Anyways. So. Um. I was wondering why it wasn't letting me use that. The answer was I'm not in the right menu. Body purifier. Uh, not actually very useful for us here. If we get poisoned, we're just gonna go into the Dragoon form. So, you know. There's something there. Could that be the much talked about guardian of the cave? Chana, step back. Don't worry about me, I can help. Nods. It's coming. All right, great big old cave snake. All right, so basic plan of this fight is uh, spam attack items <laughs> until I run out. That, that, that's, uh, that's honestly about it. If you were looking for some, some sort of cool strat, something special, you were, this is not the fight. <laughs> we actually don't take that much damage. 24. Uh, we are hitting like an absolute truck thanks to Shanna's massive magic attack stat. So this is going to do n about 96 each, so a little less than 100 each. I don't know how much HP he has in this version. I guess we'll find out. don't have access to anything super effective against them yet um like a like a wind attack item okay now he's using his poison aoe i don't get poison nice uh so now he now he's floating up in the air normally this is kind of a problem um because you know dart and lavitz are melee and you guess you can't hit him up when he's up there uh, this doesn't matter at all for us, though, because we're entirely based on ranged and items, so who even cares? Uh, please don't poison us. Be okay, nice. Uh, cause we will do less damage with Dragoon than we will for the back item right now. At the same time, we can not let ourselves be poisoned, because we'll just take too much chip damage to really uh, keep up with him. Uh, that was our fourth or fifth item. He's half HP. We have a couple dark pellets. Or dark rains or whatever we call them. I don't remember what you could buy upcoming in Vale. I think you can buy Burnout. 
I feel like I'm doing one more damage every time, which is weird. He's not in the red. We are burning through attack items right now. Luckily, Shanna already has a really good uh, base magic defense, so we don't have to worry about his breath. Or um, he hasn't actually done it in this fight. His spit. Oh, he's in the red already. Does this look like this is actually a pretty easy fight for us? Oh, I do think I do remember Urbros generally being kind of a step down in difficulty compared to Frugal. Eh, I'm not really sure why that is, but he definitely is. Uh, the Urbros is definitely not as difficult as Frugal. On the mission, we grab like a level or two on the way. That said, without the Night Shield, we would be taking a lot more damage here, so... You know. Um, I'm gonna actually try to reserve my items. I'm just gonna hope he's low enough. I'm, I'm kind of guesstimating, but I'm quite sure he's pretty low. Maybe a couple of Dragoon attacks. Well, oh, there's only 38. I thought they'd do a little more. Oh, it's over. Uh, so the game's probably. Probably about the soft lock. Uh, hold on, we'll, we'll give it a second and see if it's soft lock. Okay, yeah, it's soft lock. Uh, uh, so, uh, <laughs> so I'm gonna uh, redo this fight with a full party and then uh, we'll cut back to that. So, I'll see you guys in just a few seconds. All right. I don't know why I didn't pick up there for a second, but we're back. Uh, we're on the we're on the last turn. Uh, my luck, let me tell you about my luck in this uh, go of the fight was so much worse than uh, the first go of it. Also, you can probably see <laughs> for some reason the boss really didn't want to dar uh, target Dart and Lavis. So both of them managed to get a couple hits in before they went down. Uh, not that it mattered though. <laughs> I mean, I guess I have used one less item. Only because I spent so many turns in Dragoon form getting rid of poison. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this should kill him. Uh, unless I mess this up. Uh, you know, big if there. God, big should. Should be the last pack. Anyways, alright. So this time, there should be no problems. We did it. Now let's get on our way to Endel's castle. Dana. Huh? Get her! Oh, my, dude, that voice crack was. Ooh. What? What was? My XP. All the way to level nine. And the War God's Amulet, which doesn't isn't super useful for us. What on earth happened? I I don't know. Dot dot dot. Anyway, we're safe. We should think about how to get out of here. 
It'll be fine when we get the bill. I think. Alright. Boss of the cave down and let's move on. This one's killing potion. I should probably go ahead and uh, act, uh yeah. I would. Oh, before I forget, I should make it so that we're back to solo mode channel only. So unfortunately, whenever the fights that we have issues in, uh, that's how we're gonna have to deal with them. So um, if you don't like it, I'm sorry, but it's like it's the only like tenable solution I could find. What I, now, what I initially tried to do was, like, I tried to find, like, okay, so, so I, will, I want to mention something. So the way this game works is, like, the HP battle, like, the in, like the battle HP and, like, the character's actual HP are saved in two different things. So you have your, so you have an HP value, and it's saved in memory. But it copies that HP value to a different spot in memory uh, for battle. And then, at the end of the battle, the new value uh, gets copied to the original. Uh, and, but the thing is, the, value, the, the location that copies that value to changes. I know this is getting real nerdy, but I do want to explain some of the technical difficulties I'm having with this run, so you can understand why I'm doing some of the things I'm doing, and why I'm doing it that way. Um, and if it's a little nerdy, you can just kind of tune it out. <laughs> um, I'm actually going to go ahead and use our potion here. Uh, I tried to find like some sort of status flags, but I just couldn't. Uh, unfortunately, I don't know enough about how this game works in the back end to know that because I forgot you get an encounter here. Um, unfortunately, setting a character to zero HP doesn't cause them to actually be dead when you get into a battle. They'll have zero HP and they'll lay there like they're dead, but they can still attack. They can still get attacked. So effectively, they have one HP, right? Effectively, they have one HP, even though, you know, they're supposed to have zero. They have one, in reality. You know, I tried to find a way to set the status flag for them to be dead or to poison them, and I just couldn't. Um, and so, yeah, unfortunately, the solution is we're just going to do the fight twice. Once to prove I can, and another time just to get through it. Thankfully, I don't think those fights are too, too common. Do you have to do that? Those little boys hurt quite a bit, huh? Get just a little HP back. Before I obliterate this guy with the goon forms. I don't know, I don't think Dragoon Attack does, um, elemental damage. It might? I can't remember if that's a change they made, um, in Hell Mode and Hard Mode. The Dragoon. Based on that damage, no. <laughs> I'm gonna say that's probably no. It does not do light damage. Uh, but I assume that once I get the Sparkle Arrow here on Bale, it will do light damage. All right. We finally got to an actual town. All right. Now, before I forget, this is the first um, section of the game, right? I guess excluding the one Stardust and Bell that does actually have Stardust in it. And I don't remember where all of them are, so I'm gonna pull up uh, a little cheat sheet. All right, here we go. You know, let's get, let's get Lavin's support. Here. Oh my God, it's Sir Lavitz. <laughs> oh, Sir Lavitz, please let me draw your portrait again. Oh, 
Oh, don't move. It'll be done soon. Don't move. <laughs> uh, there's not one in here, right? I think there's an item up here. Bye, bye, bye. I think there's an item upstairs, if I remember correctly. I don't think there's a stardust in this house. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> I'm gonna stop doing that. Yeah, like, I know we're in a hurry and all, but, you know, you know, it's fine. Yes, here you go. Acquired a portrait of Lavitz. Nice. Hmm. Isn't it a little too handsome? I don't think so. Thank you, I'll treasure that. Okay. Lavitz is so popular. Hey, bit of advice. If you're looking to play through this game yourself, and you don't want to cheat on Stardust, click every single like fireplace slash hearth thing, especially if there's a fire in it. There's a very good chance there's a Stardust. I don't know why, but they just love putting them there. Uh, let me, let me refresh, let's see. Okay, yeah. Um, there's nothing in here, right? No, there's nothing. Just the uh, the gold in that first chest by the door, and the portrait, I guess. I mean, I guess we're not gonna. I'm not really gonna be working like actively trying 100% the game, but I'm gonna point out like uh, important stuff. Like for example, one of the stardust and bells requires you to buy spirits from this guy. Spirits, yeah, I have good ones. 100 gold per bottle. Oof. Ugh. My money. Yeah, I've still got 770 gold. Uh, oh yeah, let's grab it. Let's drop a save real quick. It's not right over at the backup save. I guess it doesn't matter which one I keep as the backup, but you know, trying to keep slot two as my backup. Uh, I'm not gonna talk to like every random person. I don't want to do all that reading if I'm being honest with you. Uh, this is the item shop, right? Yes. Um. No, it's the weapon shop that has the item, right? Uh, so let's let's get a couple more healing potions. Um, hmm. Do I want to keep those body purifiers? We're obviously not keeping the nail sprayers. Uh, get rid of that. Get rid of that. Um, I doubt we'll ever use it, but I'm going to keep it just in case. Um,. The War God's Amulet will keep for farming evasive enemies, maybe. Right, you can buy Spear Frost and Meteor Falls here. Mm. I... I don't think the body purifiers are actually useful enough for us to justify keeping them. Also, the detonate rock is not worth keeping as far as I'm aware. Um, the total vanishings we are keeping for sure. Those are incredibly useful for a fight at the end of the first disc. Very, very important items. Uh, so let's get some spear frost. Uh, six, we'll get... Um, let's trim down the number of Spartanets we have. Because they have no chance of being super effective. Alright, I think I'm happy with that. Uh... 
Yeah, there's nothing else in the item shop. Here's the first Stardust and Bale. That. Now let's go ahead and make use of the spirits. There's a guy down here. Drunkard. And he won't get out of your way until you give him some alcohol. Smells like spirits. And they're good ones. Oh? You're gonna give me spirits? God. Brother. You're generous. I'll have it. Brother. And this lets you get in here. Which um, is useful for a couple reasons. For one, you can get that gold. You can get a little bit of your money back. Uh, you can come out here and look at the view. N nice view, very pog. Uh, but more importantly, you go the other way. You can access to this place. Which I forgot you need the you need to go yeah there uh this is for later. Uh, <laughs> Norby, this is for later. Um whoops. <laughs> uh yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh don't worry about it. I should remember to not buy the sparkle error from the shop because you can actually pick up a sparkle error for free in Indel's castle. There's no reason to waste my money on that. Get through. Also, there's a stardust in here to get. I believe it's in this, right? Yes. Uh, do you have any armor upgrades for me? Those would be very appreciated. I can sell it. Well, that's a no. The only upgrade is the Sparker Arrow, but we'll just we'll just pick that up here in a second. Um. So all that's left is to go to Indel's castle. I don't think there's anything else that's important to pick up. No. But Lavis is like, well, where are we going? Like, can we can we just go where we're supposed to go? There's Spark Arrow. It's right inside the castle. A uh, pretty decent upgrade for us from 3 to 9 damage on the weapon. And there's a Stardust. Like, I gotta say, you gotta watch out for anything on fire. Probably has a Stardust in it. Uh, let's see, I think there's one more Stardust in the castle. Yes, it's um, not on this one. There is, however, a potentially useful ring we can get in the castle. If I remember correctly. Uh, I think this is gold, right? That's gold. Let him walk by. Alright, there's nothing else. Don't want to go up there yet. So there's a ring in here called the active ring, which uh, it stops you from getting dispirited. I don't remember exactly how you get to it. It's pretty useful. Uh, to spirit stops you from gaining SP. So in a run like this, where we're probably going to be, especially if we get further into the run, more and more reliant on Dragoon form, we really don't want to get hit with dispirit. 
So there might be fights um, where we actually use the, the, the spirit ring over anything else, or the active ring over anything else, uh, just to make sure we have access to Dragoon form at all times. Uh, trying to remember exactly how you get there. Oh yeah, I think I need to go up the floor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember now. I remember. I'm on the wrong floor to access that. The Stardust is also on this floor anyways, so... And it's right up here. You can sneak past. Nope. There's Stardust. And I believe, what, there's two more to get? The one on the boat, and yes, the one in Lavis's house? In the house. Uh, this is more gold? Oh, yeah, that's right. This is how you get to the active room. Oh, yeah, there is, um, so in Legend of Dragoon, pretty early, uh, you get access to some really, you can get access to some really good items, but they're very expensive. So I've been kind of, I've been kind of debating with myself uh, on whether or not I wanted to get those. Uh, I think currently my, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get them, but I'm not going to use them yet. I think we'll probably get to a point in the run where we kind of have to. Um, now they have actually been nerfed in this version of the game, I believe. Uh, because the base version of the game, it's like, the items are like, literally they have tons of defenses. They have the amount of damage you take. Uh, they're pretty ridiculous, right? the head of the first knighthood, Lavitz Lambert. I'm back from the field. Oh, Lavitz. I'm not going to give him that voice. I was feeling uneasy because I heard you were missing. Oh, please, make yourself comfortable, everyone. Your Majesty, it's more than I deserve. Ha, 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 it was true. His Majesty was so dismayed that he couldn't see to his affairs of state. Oh, Noish, please don't tease me. Lavis is a friend from my childhood, as well as a master of martial arts. Anyway, where have you been? After my first knighthood was wiped out, I was captured by Sindor and held against my will in Helena prison. What? In the Helena? However, thanks to the act of this young man, I managed to break out. Let me introduce these people to you. Dart and Shanna. They're from Celez. I thank you for saving Lavis. I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Gratitude for this. Tell me if you need anything. I have a favor to ask. Is it possible to take care of Shanna in this castle? What? Seems Imperial Sandora attacks Les to take Shanna away. So they could go after Shanna anytime, and when I think of it, is that the reason you brought me here? Shanna. I can walk next to the art. I've been working towards that. There's nothing we can do about the time we were apart, but I want to be with you forever. Unfortunately, you cannot leave her here. Imperial Sandora attained the force called the Dragon and went on the offensive. We're holding the battle wide in hopes, but if the dragon can fly at low altitudes and directly attack the castle, we cannot defend it even with the higher ramparts. There is no place safe in Sardaya now. Besides, you do know how she feels about you, don't you? Yeah, it may be even more dangerous from now on. I don't mind it as long as I can be with you, Dart. The first like two to three discs of this game is basically just Dart like cock blocking Shanna. <laughs> it's like blue balling for like three discs. It's great. Kind of feel bad for her, but you know. Well, I take back the crest. But one more thing. I would like to ask a question to Minister Noish. Ask me anything, son. My head is filled with all the legends and history of the continent of Idenus. I was on a journey to pursue the black monster. The black monster. The monster that attacked Neat 18 years ago. The only thing I know is he deprived me of my parents and my hometown. Hmm. 
You were a victim of the devil. I want to hear everything. Please tell me about it. And there was hardly any information left. Everything was less related to him was reduced to ashes. The only thing I know is, the black monster is called the devil that disobeyed the great existence. And is also known for devouring the god. Devouring the god? Yes, and surprisingly, he shows up in history beginning 11,000 years ago. 11,000 years ago is the time of the dragon campaign. Is the time the dragon campaign ended? You're exactly right, your majesty. Instead, I'll tell you this oh, he's story of the dragon campaign. Dude, these cutscenes are, the, are like the best. As if they were gods, Winglies ruled over all living creatures and used them as slaves. The enslaved suffered a terrible domination and injustice. Their anger turned to a flame of fury. Then a gust of wind blew throughout the lands, spreading the flame to a blazing fire. The wind was Emperor Diaz. Seven incarnations of dragons served the Emperor. Their bravery inspired people to take up arms. Thus began the Dragon Campaign. It was a harsh war. Both people and Winglies suffered countless injuries and fatalities. After a long period of suffering, it was the humans who acquired the future. The age of humans had begun. All right. I think we're probably not going to have much time for anything but story stuff today. Hmm. Uh, let's see. The black monster appeared after the dragon campaign. Excuse me, sir. It's time for the war meeting. I see. Tell them we will come soon. By the way, if you haven't noticed them in the uh, in the, in the back there, in the back right, <laughs> you might you might see a familiar figure. <laughs> Dark Shanna, this war will be a particularly harsh one for those who no longer have a home to return to. The castle is very quiet now the best place to think about your future. But this is our first time in a castle. Well, there's a place with, with a great view next to this room. Go enjoy yourself. If you from the castle, I see. Please excuse me. He is so hasty. Please excuse me too. Here we can see all of Basil. Might even be able, might be even be able to see Celeste? Celeste's over the mountain. Besides, you're gonna see a name because we're so far. Hope everybody is safe. I'm sure they're okay. Yes, they are. According to the brief by my aid, most of the people in the village are safe. Really? I'm relieved to hear that. But it will take time to rebuild the village. Still, good. I can meet everybody again. I guess it kind of just came in, like, torched the place, took Shanna, and just left. And like, yeah, we'll just burn the place down, but yeah, whatever. But we have bad news. Pandora is now readying itself to attack us. They're planning to use the dragon for the offensive own hoax. Dragon? If they release that monster in battle, it'd be a total genocide. Our role as knighthood is to stop it. I'm heading the hoax now. Maintaining the battle line will determine the future of Basil. I have lived only for myself. I believed it was something I had to complete by myself, even if I had to leave Shan and the people of the village behind. But when I came back, look at this. I almost lost my hometown again. Lavitz, I'm going to hoax with you. I don't want to see any more senseless bloodshed. What about the black monster? You have to end the war first. When Stark makes up his mind, he never changes it. Of course, I'm going to. 
I cannot stand the war either. I can fight too. You guys. Everything is determined, and then we have to prepare. Th then let's go to Bell now. There are item shops, weapon shops, and my home. Please meet my mother. She will be, she will be happy because she hasn't had a guest for a while. We were just there. We already did our shopping. <laughs> I'm way ahead of you, Lavitz. I'm way ahead of you. All right. Uh, we have a, just a few things to wrap up in Bell. Other than meeting Lavitz's mom. Um... Uh, Two more stardust. Well, one will have. One we get after meeting Lavis's mom. No, I didn't realize it updated the party right there. Interesting. Uh, let me fix that. <laughs> I'm glad I opened the menu. Uh, all right. So yeah, we have one more uh, stardust to get before we go talk to Lavis's mom. And other than that, let me double check. Yeah, that's pretty much it. And we're done with Bell. Is there anything else important? There's a couple gold crates laying around, I think, that I didn't get, but eh, most of them are just like 20 gold, so I'm not really too worried about it. We're not really hurting for money right now, anyways. But uh, before any of that, we can go get the, um, the Stardust from here now. And <laughs> uh, this this one is uh, this one's kind of a bit of torture. It's not exactly hard, or there's nothing you like, you literally have to do nothing. But it but it will also make you, you. You'll see. You'll see. You'll understand. You'll understand why I hate getting the stardust. Cause uh. Now we just sit on this boat, and it eventually takes us to where we need to go to get the Stardust. It, it takes a while. I'm actually going to time it. We're almost 30 minutes into this recording. Uh, so... <laughs> Let's see how long this takes. I've never actually timed this before. I'm pretty sure it's quite long. But we do get a nice tour of Bell, so if you want to see the sights, here you go, see the sights. And you know what we got time, I, I do want to talk about the backgrounds on this game. But they use the same technique that they used in Resident Evil, which is the uh, the backgrounds are all pre-drawn. But um, they're very nice. And by the way, there is, there's actually a 4K remaster project for the backgrounds of this game going on right now. Which I'm super excited for, I cannot wait to see the finished project of that. I've seen some of their work so far, and it's so beautiful. Um, just look up like Legend of Goon, like 4K remaster project, or like the remaster project or something like that. And I'm sure you'll find it. Beautiful, just like hand-drawn art. Let's see, okay. Uh, oh wow, it only took a little, it only took about a minute. Okay, maybe it's not, it's not as long as I thought. Uh, but it's also the return trip to think about as well. go now there's only one more stardust to get and it's in Lavitz's kitchen <laughs> for some reason well, let's see how it takes a total including the um getting back around that was about a minute But yeah, this game, uh, dude, the, the, uh, the background art, all of it's beautifully hand-drawn. It looks gorgeous, in my opinion. The game's music is fantastic. I love this game's music uh, track. Uh, there's so many things I just love about this game. There's very few things that I, like, actively dislike about it. Um, I mean, the base game is incredibly easy. So, that means that, that that's, uh... I don't know if that's really... A complaint as much as it's a criticism, right? I don't know if I would really call that a negative. I think it was just like, it's easy. It's really easy, the base game is. Also, the Dragoons are terrible. The Dragoon form sucks. Um, I think this lets you get some more gold? What 
this is get you. Winning gold. Oh, I didn't check the time. Uh, this is like it was about two minutes or so. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I, I forgot that we keep the check on the time. But yeah, this game is uh, for a game that was developed and rele released in 1999 in Japan, 2000 in the US, I believe. Uh, very beautiful. Holds up very well. I mean, the models are a little scuffed. Uh, I will say that a lot of the scuffness, I don't remember being a thing in uh, the PlayStation 1, like official disc version, right? So now, I'm playing on an emulator, obviously, so I can mod the game. But, uh, I mean, it's ripped from directly from the actual disc. But uh, I remember it not having so many weird little, um, sure, but I'm pretty sure that's an emulator issue. So, uh, you know, I think the models are mostly fine, but you know, emu this game is a uh, apparently really bad for emulation for like various reasons. So it kinda, it's kind of a buggy game to emulate. Now we go beat Matt Lavis's mom. Mom, I'm home. Oh, Lavitz, it's Lavitz. <laughs> I was worried because I didn't hear from you for a long time. Endora's resistance was tougher than I thought, but don't worry, we defeated them. Your late father would be proud to hear that. Lavitz, what about Helen? Don't mention that to her. Stop. Sorry about not wanting to be worried. I just imagine their boats are like covering his mouth, you know, just like, eh. shut up, Dart. Shut your dumb mouth. I don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> well, fine. I'm already happy just <laughs> coming home, but. I brought a bride with you. My big baby. Mom, she is not. Oh, don't be shy. What's your name? Sh Shanna. Shanna, my son is a little awkward and stubborn, but he's very sweet name. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck, Shanna. <laughs> you mean it for real? Dart, don't be so silly. <laughs> Mom, Shanna is Dart, sweetheart. What? Oh, please excuse me if you didn't make it clear. It hurts her. I, I will say so from now on. <laughs> Does it mean I'm your girlfriend? I said it because otherwise Lavis will be in trouble. Lavis, please somebody find like her so I can hold my grandchild in my arms. I'm not a child anymore. Yeah, I know, I know. Dang. And you'll stay here today, honey? Well, I was commanded to defeat, commanded to defend Hoax. I have to leave as soon as I. Oh, well, I understand. But you can at least have lunch, can't you? It'll be ready soon, honey. I'll give you a hand. Oh, there's no need. But then again, maybe. My pleasure. Well, what can we do till lunch? Which not ready yet, what are we gonna do? Uh, show me around your house. Yeah, show me around your house. First time I've been in such a huge house. There's nothing interesting, but we can at least kill time. Okay, walk around wherever you like, and I'll tell you about it. Uh, you can walk around and see some various stuff, but the only thing that matters is this. This is the library. There are many books on strategy. Are you interested in that, Dart? That's my weak point. <laughs> what are you doing? Come here. I'll show you my treasure. Treasure? Here's my treasure. Please take a look at it. Nice view. I see, it's a nice view of Indel's castle from here. This is what I saw every day when I was young. I grew up thinking, I'll be an admired knight, just like my father, and I'll protect this country. The dream came true. Yes, but the reality was much harder than I imagined back then. I feel all the more strongly how great my father was. 
protect this country, I would tear the flesh from my body. It's the same passion you have for Shanna. I just can't hold back. Because you know the important Shanna's life, you can risk your own. You were not a foolish daredevil when you ventured into Helena. But Io is covered in war clouds now. You're the only one who can protect Shanna. You know that, don't you? Yeah. All right, lab, his food is ready. Well, the princess needs us. Princess. Like a baby sister to me. Unfortunately, Dart doesn't get over the sister thing for a while, and poor Shanna, man. Poor Shanna. <laughs> poor Shanna, that's all I'll say about it. As always, your meals are delicious, Mom. It's such a nice thing to hear, but I'll be even happier if you settle down for bride soon. <laughs> she really did be nagging about it. Uh, Dar Shadow, we did buy some place where we leave. Let's go. Uh, before that, um, I needed a move. There we go. Where's Ah, oh, there it is. And that should be seven Stardust total. Okay, good. I swear, if I had missed one after all that... Ooh. Ooh. That'd have been rough. Wait, I put Shannon back in the first slot. Where I forget again. Alright, uh, there actually is one more thing we can do, um, actually it's not worth it. Uh, so you can go up back, uh, to Lavis's treasure, and you can get over that barn and you can get a healing breeze, which is a healing potion but for the whole party, right? Uh, unfortunately it's not very useful, uh, for us, because, you know, we're playing with one character. I don't really care about having, uh... About, about having uh, the healing potion, <laughs> an extra healing potion. Also, we meet Martel. Hey, watch yourself. Are you blind or what? What do you mean? You're the one who bumped into me. Don't make up excuses. Babe, like a man. Don't yell. It's true. Can you be quiet? The baby's crying. Oh, sorry. I was too loud. Oh, poor baby. She's scared, isn't she? Well, we gotta go, baby. There's no time to waste. Now, uh, Martel. Martel's the person you give Stardust to. Now, what was that? I don't know. Yeah, Martel's the person you give Stardust to. I think you can actually go talk to her now and give her your Stardust? I don't know if you can do it right away. Um. Maybe not. I thought she was in the, maybe she's in the item shop? No. Oh, never mind. Uh, you'll meet her again later, and then you can give her your Stardust. You don't have enough to get anything for her anyway. You need at least 10 Stardust. You get an item for every 10 Stardust you give her, basically, right? And, uh, yes. Yeah, so we only have seven, so we can't get anything anyway. Um, but we're going to save here. We're going to save here, and we're going to wrap up this episode, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, nothing else to say. Let me save real quick. Actually, last time I forgot to make the backup save. I actually made that backup save before I started uh, the recording because I realized I didn't save. Now let me go and get those, those, those saves down just in case something goes wrong like the before. I do not want it to restart this game again at this point. Three and a half hours to get through? No, thank you. Just to get back to recording? Ooh. But yeah, that's going to be it for this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Until then, take it easy. Have a good night, everybody. I'll see you later.